Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, very special piece of equipment here. This is the piece of equipment that Francis Ngannou broke the punching record on. I'm going to give it a go today, see how I get on. And before that, we're going to preview Francis Ngannou versus AJ. Let's see how we get on. Let's get into Ngannou versus Anthony Joshua. Doing something we've not done before on the channel. I'm going to give a little prediction on, in my opinion, one of the biggest combat sports fights that's happened in my lifetime, at least. Francis Ngannou, Anthony Joshua. I'm very excited about it as a, Uf as a UFC fighter myself. Obviously, Francis Ngannou, former UFC fighter. AJ, Olympic gold medalist, former world champion himself. British guy, obviously. I'm a British guy myself. Very excited for it. And we are going to talk about the do's, the don'ts, the good bits, the bad bits. My guy, Charlie, behind the camera is going to ask a few questions. And uh, fire away, Charlie. Where does Ngannou win the fight? Ngannou is, in my opinion, one of the most dangerous punchers ever. He is an absolute physical specimen. I thought he was just dangerous with the little gloves on. You know, he comes in from all angles. He throws all over the place. He's a little bit wild. And then obviously when he put the when he put the boxing gloves on the 10 ounces obviously that transferred over and the guy is just an absolute truck and i think that one of the things that is most dangerous someone from my perspective who is obviously an mma fighter i've sparred a lot of rounds with tyson fury a lot of rounds with other professional high level boxers and the success that i have personally is when i do unorthodox things you know boxers they've been sp they've been sparring they've been fighting since they're young you know, let's say the 30 years old they've been sparring and fighting since they were 10. Most boxers have very similar styles. They're working behind a jab, a double jab, a one-two, a one-two left hook, traditional stuff. Whereas MMA fighters, they're throwing punches on angles that they're not used to. They're doing unorthodox movements. And I think that's where Francis Ngannou is most dangerous. Not only is he a specimen, not only does he hit hard as hell, he also is unorthodox and hits from angles that Anthony Joshua isn't going to be used to. What's his game plan then for against Joshua? One of the biggest advantages that Francis Ngannou has against anybody is he is not intimidated. The guy is an absolute truck, both mentally and physically. He's a physical giant, but he's also a mental giant. What he's been through in his life to get where he is. What, what he did against Tyson Fury is absolutely unprecedented. Like I've sparred, as I've just said, I've sparred loads with Tyson Fury, absolutely loads. And I've seen him up close. I've seen what he does to people. I've sparred with him myself. I've seen what he's done to me. And I thought he had absolutely no chance. And now I'm watching the fight with Joshua. If you would have asked me that question two years ago, how would Anthony Joshua get on with Francis Ngannou? I would have said, that's the most stupid question I've ever heard in my life. Now, a couple of weeks from the fight, I'm like, this could go either way. This could go absolutely either way. So I think one of Francis Ngannou's biggest strengths is he's not intimidated by Joshua and he will get in his face and he believes, he truly believes that he can knock him out. Does Ngannou have any weaknesses? Well, I think you can look at Ngannou and say his boxing ability is his weakness. But in the Tyson Fury fight, he showed that he had plenty of boxing ability. Like, as I said, I've sparred loads with Tyson Fury. I've seen him spar up close. I've seen him fight up close. The guy's boxing ability and his boxing IQ is in another planet. Do you know what I mean? It's on another universe. But um, he can obviously box. Like, he can hold his own in boxing. And he's such a physical specimen and so aggressive. And he knows how to fight so much that it kind of evens up the odds a little bit. The fact that his boxing ability is lacking. Like, he can make up for it in other, in other areas as well. How does AJ win the fight? AJ has an extensive... Guys, boxing, amateur boxing pedigree is way beyond 99.9% .9 of the people who are involved in boxing. So I think that he has to use his, his conventional route. He needs to stay behind the jab. He needs to stay strict with his defence. He needs to keep him guessing. Don't let Francis Ngannou settle and set his feet on them power punches. Both guys are extremely hard punchers, extremely hard. But I think AJ's way to win is by staying traditional, staying tight defensively, and don't get dragged into a scrap with Francis Ngannou because it could be lights out. Does AJ have any weaknesses? Every fighter's got weaknesses, mate. Every fighter has got weaknesses. When you talk about two guys like that, massive giant guys, 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, you know, 120 kilo plus whatever they weigh, loads of knockouts on the record. Both guys can lose at any time. So of course, both guys have got a way to win. Um, I think Ngannou's weaknesses would be his, um, 
maybe his boxing ability a little bit, but as I say, he makes up for that in other attributes. And I'd say AJ's weaknesses would be kind of the unpredictable nature of Francis Ngannou when he's inside the boxing ring. And does AJ have a game plan? I think fighting someone that muscle bound, you've got to try and drag them into deep waters and get them tired. Do not get dragged into a scrap early on with Francis Ngannou because that is suicide. You got to jab him, you got to move him, you got to stay slick, you got to keep the hands tight defensively. Don't get greedy with the punches and just, just be slicker than him. Just use your boxing pedigree and don't think it's a street fight with Francis Ngannou because that is going to turn really bad. Drag him into the later rounds, get him tired, get him swinging and missing, get him hitting fresh air. And um, I think that's what AJ needs to do to get the win. So what's Tom Aspinall's verdict on the fight? Oh, I don't, I don't want to make a prediction. I honestly wouldn't be surprised either way. I think heavyweight combat sports are absolutely wild and you can't be surprised if anybody wins. I'm kind of rooting for both guys, you know, like Francis Ngannou is the MMA guy. His backstory is incredible. Absolutely massive fan of his. AJ is obviously an English guy. I'm an English guy. I don't know AJ personally, but I like his story too. But I would say right now, 55-45 to Joshua. But as I said, I would not be surprised if Francis Ngannou sparked him out in the first round. Okay, that's my opinion on it. That's my little breakdown. Make sure you add your opinion in the comments if you disagree with anything. I'm sure you do. There's a lot of experts out there. There's loads of experts in the comments. Write them, write them. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I'm wrong. Please educate me if I'm wrong. I'll be reading and uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Picture. No, he can't have got 129,000. <laughs> one, one. The AOL button. Yeah. If you can, you want a square of right, right. that elbow driving behind it. Yeah. Right to the centre. <laughs> Just a little bit, it might. That is. He can't have done 129,000. If he did 129,000 and I did 40, that is, <laughs> that is ridiculous stuff. <laughs> I think there's something going on then. I might, I might quit and think about quitting. <laughs> it must be different, it must be. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a, I don't punch as hard as Francis Ngannou, I'm aware of that. But I'm not 100,000 behind him. Do you know what I mean? Definitely not. He's not punched like in, what is it? I got 40 and he got, what did he get? 160? So, 4, 8, 12. He don't punch three times harder than me. He really definitely punches harder than me, but three times harder. The, the machine. I'm blaming the machine. Wait, did that? Yeah, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Like, unreal. Because I'm hitting that pretty hard. 